Good morning. It is Wednesday, August 31st. And earlier this morning, I actually got a really welcome surprise that uh, I had FSD beta 10.69.1 um, pushed to my car. And I had to laugh because I ironically woke up at right around 4.20 a.m. <laughs> my car had 69% state of charge and the update was waiting to be installed. So I had a few good laughs at, at that. So I don't know if that was planned by Tesla or not, but it was kind of funny nonetheless. Um, but very eager to start testing this build. Um, there's a lot of steel map data around the Twin Cities here. Tesla has not updated it. It seems to be that there is a good reason for that. Um, there is a new module that they included in the 10.69 build. It's called Deep Lane Guidance. And I am really looking forward to seeing if that improvement or enhancement um, has any noticeable um, advantages here with the steel map data. In, in theory it should, but I guess we'll kind of find out here. So in this first drive of many that I'm gonna do today, um, we're gonna be going from my house here in Northeast Minneapolis to my work in Edina, Minnesota. The first part's pretty heavy city and then there's a little bit of city driving at the end. So I'll fast forward through the uh, highway parts, but yeah, without further ado, let's go for a drive and let's see how it goes. So unfortunately with the this build, you know, and I didn't expect this to be fixed because the map data still hasn't been updated. Yeah, I'm gonna take over here right off the bat. So right off the bat, it uh, had some issues getting out of my driveway there. Um, honestly, I started seeing those issues in the last build in 10.12.2. So that's our first disengagement right off the bat there. As you saw though on the screen, the tentacle um, was not um, very confident where it wanted to go. So that's been an issue. Obviously I disengaged there, so I should send the feedback to Tesla there, but uh, not a great start, but let's give it a chance here and see what it does on the rest of the route here. A little bit of hesitation there, but that's been there through every build as well, um, just because of the fact there's pretty poor visibility on both sides there. So um, I'll report it, but it's pretty typical, so. And there are some nasty puddles on this road that we're coming up to here. So I may take over at some points just to avoid wheel damage. Um, we don't take very good care of our roads here in Minneapolis, but I'll try my best to let the car just do its thing. Obviously, unless it does something unsafe, so. It's a very smooth creep behavior here. We have a pedestrian on our left-hand side. Let's see if we go here. We have a car coming on our left here. Yep, all right, they made the right decision there, so. A little bit of hesitation there once we got in the lane, so I'm going to report that. But otherwise, you know, it handled that pedestrian great. Um, it saw the car to our left um, well in advance. Um, it did hesitate maybe a little more than I wish it would have. I kind of wish it would have went a little earlier, but it still made the right call to go. So we'll see what happens up here now. So this is an area up here where the map data has been wrong. Let's see what the car does. Wow, okay, so this is super cool. So every other FSD build so far, the car would try to get in the right turn lane. If I tried to cancel the lane change, it would cause some very bizarre behavior um, where the car would you know, be very erratic. It would try to turn left in this intersection when the navigation didn't say so. Um, it's been a very problematic intersection for FSD. And as you can see now, even though the map data has been incorrect for some time, the car is doing what it's supposed to by staying in the left lane. So I'm not sure if it's reading that turn lane restriction sign back there, or if it's just looking at the lane markings and making the correct judgment there. But either way, um, this is huge. This has been a, an issue pretty much every drive of mine because it starts around my neighborhood. This is right outside my neighborhood here. Um, so that's awesome. Really good to see that, uh, that ended up being an improvement here in this build. Bicyclist here. Let's see if the car tries to get over though. And again, it's confidently proceeding straight with this lane. So, you know, the sign I noticed is painted over, obviously, but the road markings persist. They're not visualized on the screen though, which is definitely interesting. So, um, I'm going to do this one one more time. Um, obviously, with the sun kind of glaring right into us, the visibility is pretty poor. Um, <laughs> looks like FSD is having a tough time seeing as well, which is why I use the wipers there. Um, but lane placement wise, I mean, this has been an annoyance for me through pretty much every one of the 10 out X builds so far where it would always result in a disengagement. So, um, let's see what we're doing here. 
it flipped the signal on like it used to sometimes, but obviously it proceeded normally and carried through. So um, I'm gonna spin around and we'll redo that one again. And uh, so just to refresh again, the car would wanna stay to the right here and always enter this right turn only lane. Um, but as you can see now, the car is confidently staying in this left lane every single time. And I'm hoping again, it will proceed normally and go straight through the intersection like it should. Um, you know, again, this, this has been a challenge for us throughout every one of the 10.x builds. And, you know, I want to say too how impressive it is. We're going right into that sun. Um, I am having a really tough time seeing, to be honest with you. Um, but as you can see, the car is properly, you know, illustrating the correct um, stoplight signals and, you know, everything else seems to be rendering on the screen and visualized properly. So, um, pretty impressive. All right. Yeah, no jerkiness of the wheel, no issues there. So uh, I'm going to really consider this one fixed, guys. Um, this has been a really, really welcome enhancement. Um, like I said, every one of my drives pretty much starts crossing the intersection. And uh, in the past, throughout each of the builds, it resulted in a disengagement or at least intervention for me. Um, so I'm really happy to see that one is no longer there and resolved in 10.69.1. All right, so we have a left turn coming up here. Um, this intersection has been somewhat problematic for us. There used to be a construction trailer kind of parked adjacent or a kitty corner from this intersection from where we're at here that caused some problems or some excessive hesitation. That trailer is no longer there, so I don't really anticipate any problems here anymore, but um, let's see what it does. Well, it saw a car there at the last second after it came around the other car and kind of hesitated there. So, you know, probably cautious to do that, but either way, um, yeah could have went a little you know more confidently through that um but you know better be safe than sorry and great job with that intersection there there's been some excessive hesitation at that intersection in the past um when there's been cars in the in the intersection um it seems to get a little confused as to what those cars are doing and, and whatnot and just waits a little bit too long even when we have the right of way to go um so couldn't really you know verify if that issue has been resolved but that seemed to be a pretty normal approach at that intersection there um no excessive hesitation but again there was no cars there to kind of confirm one way or the other and then this stretch of road here for whatever reason even though the map data seemed to be correct and i looked it up um the car would try to use the left lane and you see it's unfortunately doing that again here so I have to hit cancel and I'm going to report that issue. That's been a long-standing issue. It didn't happen in my initial drives with 10.12.2 but unfortunately it kind of cropped back up after I kind of thought it was fixed after the fact. Um, you can see it's really having some problems right here where it wants to put the turn signal on. There's really nowhere to go. Um, so obviously we don't want to use the left lane, that's the oncoming traffic lane. Um, so I've just canceled it. It never seems to try to make the actual lane change, but something is telling it to do that. I'm not sure what. Um, but that issue seems to have been persistent throughout each of the 10.x builds. So I'll be following up via email with the team on that one. Just that, that one's been a long-standing one that's been kind of annoying. So. And up here in previous builds, the road, as you can kind of see, is kind of a, a like a bluish red um, mix, um, just because of the pavement is pretty pretty poor quality here. The car would really have issues up here towards the intersection of where it should align itself, as if it's picking up the reddish like hue in the pavement as the the outside line. Let's see if it does it here. It would kind of make a difference too with the different lighting too, as if it's darker out, it struggles a bit more, but not really any issues here. I mean, it seemed to just handle it just like any other road surface, so. bit too much towards the center there um, but there's a car parked there and it gave it space so I'm not going to report that um, 
in the past the car would just hang out in the center of this road here and almost pick up the bike path to our left as a road surface so it would really do some you know stupid things here in, in the past um, and 10.12.2 is the first release I saw a really big improvement in how the car aligns itself to the right side of the curb um, and you can see it kind of just squeaks out a little I'm gonna just report that um, it's not not perfect so obviously there can be some improvement there so but this is probably the best I've seen it handle this road ever so far. Let's see it has it handles this tight corner up here, what it does. So we're a little right of the line. Yep, all right, there we go. So we fixed it. So still hanging out a little too much to the left as we come around that corner. And there's really two lanes here, right? There's really a left lane and a right lane, even though they're not marked. So I really wish when we're making left turns like this, we get really tight to that line. A great job with that unprotected left turn there. Um, there's been excessive hesitation there in the past, um, and that no longer seems to be there. So. so there's a little bit of construction work going on here. Let's just see what the car does. There's nobody behind us. I kind of want to see if it's going to proceed. Um, all right, I'm going to just nudge it and see what it does here. It may take over. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it figured it out. I got to give it a little throttle input, but otherwise, it handled it just fine. So this road has been kind of been reworked here for a little bit. So um, it resulted in some disengagements when they were, you know, had this part shut down there, repaving it. Um, but yeah, now the original road is kind of aligns with what the map data shows. Obviously some of the lights are out of service, but so I'm just going to nudge it again on the throttle, hold it down here until we get across the intersection. Then I'll slowly let off here. But yeah, seems to be doing a great job. So as you can see here to our, our left here, there are some of those like, you know, bike lane bollards or whatever you want to call them posts that kind of are hard lane separators there. We definitely want to go deep into this turn, go straight and then make that deep left turn rather than make a, a short one here. So I may disengage here. We'll see what the car ha how it handles it here, but this is kind of a tricky intersection. All right, let's see what we do here. Wow, that was textbook perfect there. I mean, I don't know how you could do that better. I mean, that was perfect. It kind of struggled with that one in the last build in 10.12.2, so a, a possible improvement there with that, how it handled that. And as you can see, the, the actual, those posts were actually flattened. People actually ran them over. All right, so we're gonna get on the freeway now. I'm gonna take over here and uh, I will uh, see you at the end of this highway section um, as we enter the city streets. See you in a bit. All right, so we just did our little bit of highway driving there between uh, Minneapolis and Edina, just exiting here onto uh, Industrial Boulevard. And we have a few turns before our route here is complete. Um, so we're gonna make a right turn here at uh, this light, and then we're gonna go through another intersection. There'll be another left turn into the parking lot. So it's a bit more aggressive on the speed slowdowns here as we approach the intersection than I've seen in previous builds. Um, there was not really anybody behind us, but I would like to see a bit more natural slowdown there. Um, considering it was a pretty tight turn, uh, I understand why it's trying to do that, but um, definitely could be a little smoother, especially if there was cars behind us, so. Good job waiting there. There's a car on our left here. It's in the opposite lane, but even so, I'm not sure why it thinks our windshield's dirty. It's not that bad, but, <laughs> but yeah, the car did a great job there waiting for that car. Um, I've been put in a few interesting situations in that intersection before. I don't know if it could see it. It just seemed to react too slowly when it would detect the cars and then put us in a spot that was kind of compromised. So yeah, it resulted in several disengagements over, I would say several of the X, 10.x builds um, but you know again so far the unprotected left and right turns have been noticeably better so far in this build obviously we will be doing a ton more today to kind of confirm that but my initial impressions of this drive are really really good so this is really good stuff to see all right and these lanes actually converge up here so we'll see if it's aggressive here and gets over as it needs to 
it's got a little bit of a window and then we're making a left turn here so with cars approaching hopefully it slows down appropriately here all right so did a pretty good job there i would have preferred the car to um slow down a little bit more gradually or a little more early um, as it approached that left turn just because it doesn't surprise traffic as much. So I'll report that part of it, but otherwise a pretty darn good drive. We had the one disengagement right out of the driveway. Uh, otherwise, you know, it did a great job handling all the city street portions. Um, this has probably been the best drive so far at FSD Beta along this route that I've seen to date. So um, really promising. Can't wait to do some more drives later today. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more. See you on the next one.